All right, what is up, y'all? Today we're here with week six of the APL, the Alolan Prebank League, consisting of me, myself, obviously, uh, Cowpat, and Doomshroom. Got a little three-man team action going on. I just realized I never really explained that. I just kind of threw it out there. But, yeah, we're all on the same team. So, um... Yeah, we go get Snowprint this week, and I believe at this time he was 0-5. So we decided it would be fun to have fun. <laughs> and uh, his team, you should see it. It's like Charizard Y, Buzzwolf, Salamence, Vikavolt, Lucario, Alakazam, Lapras, Magmortar, Dragonair, and Glalie. Which, looking at it, that's a pretty fucking scary team. Like, for realsies, that's, that's some shit. Mints plus Zard Y, Lucario, Alakazam, fucking Buzz Bullock. Good golly gee goddamn Withercurse. But, um, yeah, he was going through a bit of a rough patch in the season, so we decided to throw together some straight fire to just, you know, it's not really that heady, but I don't know, we, we put together a good team to kind of, you know, get this differential thing going because Kip Up and Corey are both, there are two other players in the league, and they're both dick and dick with us for, you know, placement and whatnot, so we're trying to do our best to get to the top, and, uh, yeah, so it's gonna start all off here, we got our emo scissor, of course, Kartana, Akame, whatever you may know her, him, genderless as, the, um, it's just a great Pokemon, it outspeeds, I believe, everything on his team, bar Alakazam, but, um, yeah, looking at it, we, I believe we started out wanting to do, like, a choice band set, but it was really nice to just be able to pick up beast boosts and switch up moves while still being boosted. So even though I'm not a big fan of Life Orb, we went with Life Orb. And, uh, yeah, we, we just got enough speed there for his base 100s, of course. And, uh, yeah, we, just, we were able to throw a little bit in bulk, which is cool. It has, you know, it, it has... It, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> this is a... Kartana is a very strong four move four move slot syndrome Pokemon, but usually you're gonna want SD on the set, so it's like three move slot syndrome, but with boost with uh beast boost I guess it at least kinda counteracts that a little bit, you know, but we got Aerial Ace for Buzzwool, Smart Strike for fucking Glalie, I guess. Because that's yeah. And to hit, you know, things neutrally too, like Salamence. Um Sacred Sword helps with uh you know what? I was about to like go say what it helps with, but it doesn't really help with anything. I guess Lucario, but I, Lucario is pretty frail though. I feel like at plus one we would still probably take it out with a fucking Leaf Blade or something. I don't know. We'll say it's for Lucario, and then Leaf Blade is obviously main stab and it'll run through a fucking Lapras like nothing. But uh, kind of looking at his team and looking at our team, his. The thing we were scared of the most, obviously the mints, because it sets up one Dragon Dance and that thing kind of just runs through us. But uh, Zard Y is a huge threat. We have no switch in for Zard Y. Well, we have a switch in for Zard Y, but it's we, you'll see. So that's Cartana. It's you know it's what it does. We got Air Air. That was Canadian as fuck. What the shit? It is way too late for me to be recording. <laughs> we got Dark Types Matter, the Crocodile, just Focus Dash, uh, Taunt Lead kind of thing. We do not want rocks up, obviously, because we have Dragonite and Multiscale and all that fun stuff. So, yeah, we're going to try to keep those off. And a fucking fire type, but whatever. Uh, rock Tomb, we just, we have a we have a big thing with, uh, with rock type physical moves, because they really like to miss. We've all had, we've all either lost or almost lost a very important game because of... 80% accuracy move, 80% accuracy moves, 90% accuracy moves. So we decided we'll just go <laughs> Rock Tomb with this one. We'll just make it 95. If we miss, I'm fucking done with Pokemon forever. And uh, we can lower some speed things, you know. Um, that's really helpful with Pokemon like Dragonite or Sylveon. You know, you just lower their speed and come in and get a kill. It'd be a great time. Also, I just realized, um, I think he has como O over, uh, what you jigger? como -O over Salamence. Yeah, we played him, uh, you know, halfway through the season, and I believe after he battled us, he made the trade for Salamence. So disregard anything that I fucking said about Salamence. Fuck that guy. It's, it's como -O. This is super professional. <laughs> but yeah, um, taunt, you know, it's just, it's standard. It's UU. That's what we do. 
Then we have our homie Sylveon. Bruce, Bruce Sixth Junior. I can't speak for shit. So Bruce Sixth Junior. That's a bit of a tongue twister, though. But that's on me because that was my nickname. <laughs> But this thing kind of just runs through his whole team. We got Hyper Beam for lulz. Hidden Power Rock because his only resist to Hyper Voice is fucking Charizard. So, well, and Magmartyr, but not as much. I'm pretty sure Magmartyr probably would still die from two specs. Fucking Hyper Voices after rocks. But uh, Baton Pass just for momentum, just in case. Uh, that's kind of a staple on Shaden teams is that you got your bulky one with the fucking... <laughs> that gets you momentum. But mainly just Hyper Voice. Just hyper voice everything. Modest as fuck. Ooh, baby girl. Then, we got our Lumberry Dragonite, our Ord, Dragon Tails, Dragon Tails, up in this piece. I think originally we were talking about going Z move with Fly, but I don't think it ended up being necessary. We just DD up. Um, he can try to burn us if he wants, but obviously that's not gonna fucking matter. What are you gonna do? We got Lum. That's what it's for. You know, great times. <laughs> And uh, Aerial Lace is enough to take out Buzzwole even at neutral. Made sure to calc that, I promise. We got it, we got it unlocked. Earthquake's cool because we don't have to risk the burn versus Magmortar. And, you know, we can kill Lucario and shit. Uh, and then Outrage just because... I mean, look at his fairy type. It is uh, non-existent. So yeah, that's fun. Who needs E-Speed anyways? Then we got our wacky-ass Max Spadef answer to Mega Alakazam, which is Blastoise. So basically, it comes in on a Psychic, probably, because what's what else does Mega Alakazam, or what else does Alakazam click, not Mega Alakazam. Um, yeah, we come in on a Psychic, eat it up, it'll do like 35, maybe, maybe 30. Then, you know, he'll probably pack Energy Ball, because I believe he's brought it most weeks, and it makes sense versus us, because any special attack is called Kartana, so it's not like you gotta bring HP Fire for that guy. <laughs> Um, yeah, you know, it just, when it, when we Mega Evolve, we get a dick load of Spadef too, so that always helps. And the plan is just mirror coat the shit out of that guy, and then maybe Toxic something, uh, while we're in. You know, we'll see. <laughs> um, it's kind of a one-trick pony, because that's the, that's the shitty, the shitty thing about running mirror coat on a Pokemon that doesn't have Regenerator, is because you use it, but then you're super low health, and you no longer wall anything. <laughs> but it works if you can get it to, get it to do it. So, we're going to try try to preserve that differential. Then we have, basically, the thing that's probably just going to clean up, honestly. Uh, Cal Caldoggo, the uh, Arcanine, Choice Scarf. I think this is the second or third time we've brought Scarf Arcanine. It's fucking dope, man. But, uh, Adamant hits hard as fuck. We are Flash Fire, because this is our swap-in to old Charizard Y. So, that'll be dope. I think we could also you know, with Pirate Bay, but Alakazam's looking like more of a threat. <laughs> yeah, so we can just swap in this guy, have a strong-ass fire attack, that's at, you know, plus one basically because of the flash fire, and then we're in the sun too, are you kidding me? Nothing on his team wants to take that, like at all. Maybe como -O, but I, we don't need to talk about that, that's negative. And then we got E-Speed just for dicks and gigs, you know, I don't know. <laughs> But, um, yeah, let's go ahead and jump on into that battle. So here we are with the battle. As you can see, he brought not Solomon because it's definitely Como. And, you know, Alakazam, he got some shinies in there looking threatening. But, um, we didn't really know what he wanted to lead with. I mean, when you see a Lapras, it kind of throws you off a little bit. But we thought maybe it'd be like Spikes lead Glalie or something. But, whatever, it's a nice type bar. Does it need to lead as a ground type? Fuck it, you know, whatever, it's fine. He's an invader. We can intimidate off, which is cool. So if he is the physical set with, like... Uh, well, he's not Mega, so he'd be Double Edge, but whatever physical ice type moves that get. He doesn't have hands. He can't ice punch you. What's he gonna? You got like ice headbutt or something? I don't know. But yeah, so he's intimidated. Ice shard's gonna be weakened. He ice beams right down to the Mufkin Sash, and uh, he goes for Protect here, which leads us to believe that he doesn't have ice shard. So we just go for the Quaker, Quaker Oats. Just uh, you know, we wanted to try to get Charizard on the EQ, but whatever. So he protects on the Kartana. Which, I mean, I guess is a good play because we weren't we weren't SDing there no matter what. He could just hit us with anything and kill us. But we get our beast boost, which is cool. And he goes into Charizard. 
and even though we could probably kill the Charizard with a plus one smart strike or something along those lines, maybe Sacred Sword after he if he Mega Evolves, which I assume he will. But um, you know we got this guy, so fuck it. <laughs> if we get the Fire Blast, get our Flash Fire, we're in the sun and we just Flare Blitz the fuck out of that Charizard, man. He just drops. He goes Lapras. This. Let me tell you, that is not a switch in for a sun boosted, flash fire boosted, adamant flare blitz. Now he goes into Como O, and things are looking a little threatening because, like I said, we're trying to keep as much differential as possible, and if he predicts correctly, uh, Sylveon is choice specs, not defensive, so it is going to take quite a bit of damage. But, fuck it, you know, we're just going to switch right in. He takes a lot from Earthquake, but we're like, oh fuck. But then he goes for the Flash Cannon, which actually does almost the same amount, a slightly less than Earthquake, which is super effective, and that's cool. But, um, yeah. My fucking... I just lost my whole train of thought. Sylveon came back into the Pokeball, and so did my entire train of fucking thought. Jesus Christ. But, Alakazam comes out. It can probably kill us, and we still do have a lot of Pokemon with a lot of health on them. So, to keep differential, we do go right to Blastoise, like we said. Eat up that Psychic, then Mega Evolve. Energy Ball does 44%, and then, yeah, you're not living that, Alakazam, you're not. He actually wasn't even Magic Guard, which might have been a misclick or something, but, yeah, he, that was, and Alakazam just took rocks damage, you don't see that shit every day. <laughs> Man, now he just has Buzzwool, and, uh, it's looking like a pretty nice 5-0, so we do want to keep that as much as possible, so we just go hard Dragonite, he's not Ice Punching on the, on the Blastoise, that don't happen to but he power-up punches, and things are looking kind of, kind of sticky, nope, just kidding. We got Aerial Ace, it's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> so yeah, that was a good game to Snowprint. It was a bit on the wackier side. Uh, I kind of wish we had got to click Hyper Beam, I'm not going to lie. And we probably could have just stayed in with Charizard. I mean, with Carton in the beginning and just killed the fucking Charizard. And been hilarious. But, uh, oh well, what are you going to do? We got to let Dragonite get some action anyways. Cartana, spoiler alert, Cartana gets gets another sweep or two so <laughs> go ahead and stay tuned for that motherfuckers but um yeah go ahead and like and subscribe and do all that bullshit and i'll see you guys later bye forever